Okay, so here's the radiometer and the detectors underneath this is a plastic um, cover over the sensor, but that's okay. Um, this, this plastic would only really interfere with like large alpha and beta particles, uh, but like gamma will go right through it. So gamma is the one that's the most dangerous because it can penetrate all the way through your body and cause havoc and uh, bad things. So uh, we see the ambient um, thing that we're looking at is 0.1 microsieverts per hour. So that's just naturally occurring radiation. And if we put uh, this guy on here, it's very clearly radioactive. And if we put this one on, it's also very clearly radioactive. Um, that's not even the full uh, contact amount. I mean, if we close this up and try it again so that more of the band is over the sensor, and you can see it's extremely radioactive. In fact, this is probably the most radioactive band that I've seen. Wow. Yeah, you can just see it climbing, um, and which isn't averaging, it's uh, over time. So that will climb to a peak and then stop once it's reached its average uh, per hour. Um, but uh, wow, yeah, <laughs> that's quite, quite the level there. Let's see where it stops. So it's about 5.2 microsieverts per hour. Um, is extremely bad. And take it off. In fact, I'm going to tighten this loop a little bit more to see if we can get a little bit more of the material over top of the sensor. Put on its smallest setting here. See where it climbs to here. So yeah, significantly different when we have more of the material over the sensor. Yeah, 7.7 7 and 7.8. Wow, that's uh, that's really bad. And this is um, you know microsieverts per hour. Um, so um, you know anybody unfamiliar with this 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 uh, ion band industry? Uh, the uh, the idea here is that it's negative ions, and um, that will create these basically charged particles in the air and that, that you breathe those in or that you're around them and it's magically somehow good for your health and. Um, the problem is that the only way to ionize uh, anything is through uh, three things. You can have a, a field, an electric field, uh, but there's no battery or power connected to these. Uh, you can do it through mechanical action, like a, a balloon you rub on your head. Uh, that produces negative ions. Or you can have something that's radioactive. It's ionizing radiation is being produced. The radiation flies out of the material strikes um, oxygen molecules or whatever and ionizes them, turns them negatively charged. So, um, yeah, you're wearing this 24 hours a day, um, you're going to significantly increase your exposure well above um, any kind of normal, um, you know, normal levels. I mean, this, this is just, uh, it's just bad news.